Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. We're taking a tech dive today into smartwatches, specifically the Moto 360. It's a new watch from Motorola. Uh, it's not released yet, but it's supposed to be released in the summer of 2014. And seeing as this is September 2nd, 2014, the summer is quickly waning away, so I'm sure it's going to be released fairly soon. The Moto 360 is a smartwatch that looks different, it acts different, and it's the first major watch using Google's Android Wear uh, software. So let's go ahead and see how TechCrunch saw it at Google I.O. Hi, this is Daryl Etherington from TechCrunch, and we're here at Google I.O. This is day two, last day of the conference. Uh, but we're lucky because we get to have some hands-on time with the Motorola Moto 360 Android Wear smartwatch. I'm here with Kate from Motorola. That's Hi. right, right? Yes, yeah. okay. that's right. You got my name right. <laughs> <laughs> and so what we've got here is your upcoming Android Wear device. That's upcoming, right. Because it's right. not launched yet. Right? Not yet. Uh, so can we just have a little run-through of how the watch works and how yeah. the interface works? This is the face right here, and you can turn it on actually through a gesture. You can also turn it on by using the button on the side mm -hmm. or uh, tapping the top of the display like this. Mm -hmm. So once it's tapped, you see there's a watch face here. And when you go ahead and press and hold, you can choose between different watch faces. Motorola has designed watch faces that are truly um, complementary to the round UI. They really take advantage of the round form factor. Mm -hmm. Now the notification at the bottom, um, you see a small notification, and then when you swipe up, you get more information. In this case, the famous Alice Yang, who's on everyone's demo right. device. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you keep swiping up, you see a, a number of different cards, anything from traffic to calendar appointments, airport, and when you keep moving up, um, you can also move from side to side. So, for example, on this weather card, I'll move over and show you the five-day forecast. Um, and then if I just want to go ahead and dismiss a card, I swipe in the other direction. Mm. So it's very intuitive, very easy. Now, the other thing Moto, Moto 360 can do is uh, respond to your voice. So you can use a trigger phrase, and you can send quick texts and things like that. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and I just, I just noticed while you're going through this, so you do have this, it's not a full circle, there's a, there's a black sort of occlusion at the bottom. Is that, right. what, what is the technical purpose of this? Yeah, so actually it's really important because yeah. without it, your display wouldn't work. It's the display driver. Oh, okay. And in addition to the display driver, it's also got an ambient light sensor built in. Yeah. Um, so that, that also helps to maximize your display performance. Great, I suspected mm -hmm. sensors, but I didn't know about the, the driver. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Uh, so when is this going to be available for people to buy? It'll be available later this summer. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a question we get a lot from our readers. They're very excited about this device. Absolutely, we're really excited too, and trust me, we're working on it, and it's going to come out later the summer. All right, great. So what, what can you tell us about your design and, and how this differs from other Android Wear watches and what you guys yeah. have, have put into the process of creating one? Yeah, so we designed Moto 360 to really look and feel like a classic wristwatch. So we're using materials like stainless steel, genuine leather, um, and we've also obviously have a round face, um, which we thought was really important to the design. And that's an option that Google has built into Android Wear, but you guys are the first manufacturer to that's use right. it. Right? That's right. So I've, I've heard from the competition that the rectangular or square UI is more efficient in terms of use of space. But I think I've also heard from you guys that <laughs> the opposite is true. Now do you have, a, like, what, what, what went into the decision to go around and, and how does yeah. it work in terms of active space? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So for us, when it came to round, first of all, it was really important that we didn't take just square and then cut it down and yeah. just cut the corners. So right. we really designed um, this display to have pixels that go all the way up to the edge so that we maximize all of the available space. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that we found was that um, round offered the maximum level of comfort and display size together, whereas Square can have sometimes a larger display size, but may not be as comfortable on your wrist. Right, okay. So comfort was a key factor. Comfort was a very, yes, very important to And us. speaking of that, so you, you're going with a leather band, That's too, right. in That's the right. box? That's right. And have you announced pricing yet, though? We have not announced pricing, <laughs> but I promise that all those details will come as soon as we launch the product later this summer. Okay, great. So if you're in the market for a smartwatch, the Moto 360 may be one you'd want to look into. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.